Hi, okay, so this is my third time trying to make this video. <laughs> and I'm not gonna do it again. So whatever comes out of my mouth is just gonna be it. Happy pre-solstice, everybody. I hope you're feeling the energies of the solstice. It's so like, ah, we just went through this huge purge that was leading up to this moment everybody's been purging 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 digestively through their skin emotionally through their relationships i mean everybody's like you know just mucus or um you know stomach problems or all of a sudden like you know just losing people out of your life or exiting jobs there's just been this massive purge for lack of better word that's been going on since the 11th day of the moon and it's really ramping up for this energy for this solstice that we're approaching tomorrow it's just like i feel like i can breathe like it's just like a happy energy it's just like this is all inner child solar plexus like you know the sun card in the tarot is a happy baby on a horse like riding in the sun and that's really what this energy is about it's about embracing and playing in magical traditions the solstice is the celebration of nature it's when nature is in her full exaltation you know the everything's green and everything's lush and beautiful and the sun is high and this is like just if you don't do anything tomorrow go outside if the only thing that you do tomorrow is to receive some sunlight then make sure that you get that done um if you do have like um a little bit of a metaphysical spiritual meditative practice and tomorrow it will be heightened all the results and benefits of anything that you do tomorrow will be greatly amplified in the solstice portal there is a gateway of energy that opens tomorrow tomorrow is the longest day of the year we get um 15.5 hours of sunlight tomorrow which is like a lot and then after tomorrow it starts ticking down after tomorrow it starts getting darker 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 um so so on the we're in this sixth year and we're in this sixth month and the solstice of we're like already halfway through 2022 20, that's crazy that's crazy i feel like it was just new year's and i was like hallelujah we get a six year it's gonna be cool and comfortable and nice because the six is like you know home and security and i was just like you know it's been cool it's definitely been a lot easier than last year Whew, 2021 was like hello anyway so the tree of life the six on the tree of life is a tiferous and it's right in the center of the tree of life and it's so perfect we aligned with what's going on here and i kept getting these messages these messages from like all sorts of i just watch youtube videos and he'd show up or i'd go in meditations and he'd show up or i just like you know look on instagram and there'd be like a post about him and this archangel zad keel kept showing up showing up showing up and i finally had to like sit in his energy with his energy and just listen and he's really the angel that's kind of bringing in this solstice for us in this year. The Archangel Zadkiel, which is really exciting because Zadkiel is all blessings. He's the mercy of God. He's the benevolence of God. He is like, if you need forgiveness or something, if you need to release, if you need to purge, which everybody's been purging. The purge has been so real and I feel like it's all just been um, ramping up for tomorrow. Just releasing releasing everything that can't travel with you in your higher realms if you're going if you're ascending if you're going from 3d to 5d there's some baggage that just can't exist there you know there's some exes there's some anger there's some i don't know bad eating habits there's weird sleeping patterns there's some resentment feelings there's just some people places and things that are not coming with you relatively speaking as you ascend and all of these things we've been seeing them physically purging out of us 
Um, and so with the releasing the solar plexus from, you know, the solar plexus is what holds everything that creates the cords to everything that doesn't want to let go of anything. That's all been purging, purging, purging for this huge solar activation that we're getting tomorrow where we can be in the energy of our inner child, be in the energy of our spiritual royalty, which is what we really are. The, the, the six, the Tifereth is the center of the tree of life and it's the only um it's the only node in the tree of life in the kabbalah that every channel touches every you know some of them touch one some of them touch the others but every node in the tree of life touches the tiferes and that's the center it's the it's the um it's the gateway to the center of the universe. And the center of our universe is the center of the Milky Way. And astrologically speaking, it's the galactic center. If you know where your galactic center and your chart is, then you know, there's a lot of stuff that has to do with that. The center of the Milky Way is a massive black hole, which we think of as kind of like a negative thing, like all swallowing massive maw, like, that you want to stay away from but it, the black hole isn't something that kills you the black hole is a portal so if you let yourself surrender and go through it you'll end up in a different place that's kind of cool but you have to release the fear so so with this six with the tifereth with angel zadkiel archangel excuse me archangel zadkiel um i was just sitting in his energy and listening and some major, major codes were coming through. And I have not, um, I have not channeled that way in a while. Sometimes my light language has comes through as like a language, as like um, a galactic language that causes unlocking and remembering and things like this. But this was like code. <laughs> and when it came through, it came through really fast. And it was like, grab the phone and record because this is what's happening now and this is what the collective needs to receive. You know, not the collective, the Ascended Collective, everybody that's watching this and everybody that um, follows my Etsy page and stuff like that. It's really kind of like a privilege to receive this stuff because it's like, you know what a code does? A code is like a cheat. You know, you can, you can unlock some things with a simple sound current instead of having to bang your head against the wall and struggle and strife to get it. Um, so, so that code came through from Zadkiel. <sighs> These hypnotic loops, I swear, you guys need to stop it. Um, and that's going to be up on the Etsy page and the website if, um, if you, and you absolutely should receive that, um, activation tomorrow while we're in the energy of the solstice. But, um, besides that, I always like to do on these high holy days a two and a half hour session of chanting because if you chant a mantra for three minutes seven minutes 11 minutes 31 minutes 62 minutes whatever it may be you're gonna get relative results from the time that you are encoding and imprinting that sound current into your field but if you do it for two and a half hours you kind of make this permanent shift in your subconscious mind that does not get undone. And I know uh, all of us, all of us are just searching and hunting for wisdom and searching for inner knowing, you know, and searching for this, this, trying to bust through this freaking veil of amnesia that we get wrapped around our heads when we come here where we're like, everything's so cryptic and I like keep getting messages from my guides and I don't know and I hear my intuition but it's whispering and like I don't know what to do all that like I don't know what I am I don't know what to do I don't know what my mission I don't know who I am I don't know where I came all that I don't know I don't know I don't know that drives us nuts and sends us down YouTube rabbit holes of research that um all those answers are right here <laughs> like all the answers that we're like constantly asking the cards and the psychics and the mediums and the channels and everything they're all inside of us but we just can't really figure out how to get there so the so the energy that i was receiving and the guidance that i was receiving was to use ekamai 
which is a mantra that unlocks universal wisdom. And it has six lines, which I just found out and I thought that was so cool. I thought that was so cool. I was like counting the lines. I was like, this isn't really long. And so I was counting the lines and I was like, it has six lines in the six, in the Tifereth, in the six year, in the six month. And you know, I had like a little six spasm about that, but I don't, that's, um, that was me. So, so chanting echo my, usually on high holy days, we chant long echo cars, two and a half hours of long echo cars. And that is incredible. If you've chanted long echo cars for two and a half hours with me before, you know how that feels afterwards. And it, it sets the tone for a lot of things that are coming after that for you. Um, but two and a half hours of Ekamai, um, it gives you, it's going to permanently affix a channel into your subconscious mind that aligns you with the universal mind. Okay, so all of the kind of questioning and nervous not knowing you'll have a code in your mind, in your subconscious, that will just be pulsing through your subconscious that will like just attune you into everything that you could want to know. So, and they say that this is the 30th powery of Japji, Ekamai is the 30th powery, um, and places you on the throne of divinity and it makes you a sage saint. And it's really interesting because this child king the symbol on the tarot card, the sun, the sun card, is kind of like this princely child, this like royal child. And so the throne of divinity, this this word spiritual nobility keeps coming up. And that's what we need to be as light workers, as star seeds, as any kind of ascendant master, high vibrational being. We need spiritual nobility. We need, we are spirit having a physical experience. So um, let's align ourselves with the noble aspect of that. And we can do that tomorrow. That can be the intention that we set tomorrow. So um, if you are interested in chanting along with us, um, you can, you can email me or, you know, if you wanna do it on Zoom, because we're gonna be practicing on Zoom, the Cosmic Consulate. If you're part of the Cosmic Consulate, you'll be getting the Zoom link. Um, if not, we're also going to have it up here on YouTube Live so that you can chant along with us. It's going to be happening during the Amrit Vela, the Ambrosial Hour. This is a holiday. This is a 5D holiday. So we celebrate and we do it right. And the ambrosial hour is 5 a.m. Well, it's really between three and six. It's when the sun is hitting the earth at a 60 degree angle. It causes your subconscious to blossom open. The Catholics have mislabeled it the witching hour. It's actually the hour of ambrosia. And many yogis actually utilize this hour to practice during it on purpose. A lot of people that I work with that are authors, they'll wake up at this time to write because they can get the most inspiration. The muse is with them during that hour. Uh, most, A lot of high spiritual beings, Buddhism, um, I think even a lot of these... Um, Old Norse religions utilize this hour because if you if you notice as you've been watching the angel numbers and you're getting all these hints and ticks that you're spiritually aligning and spiritually awakening, you see 1111 everywhere, you're probably waking up at 3 a.m. too. You're probably waking up and looking at your clock and says 333 or 3 a.m. or something like this. It's because your sensitivities are heightening. As your spirit awakes to the fact that it's a spirit, you start to gain the senses that you have always had and you'll start to feel these planetary shifts. So when your subcon so the sun hits the earth at 60 degrees, your subconscious blossoms open and all of a sudden you're jolted out of your sleep like what the heck? How did I get back here, right? You feel it. You're feeling this time. This isn't anything terrible happening to you. This is actually your beginning to, your gifts are coming online. So yeah, so that's it. So if you are interested in chanting along with us, we'd love to have you. I'm gonna post the little premiere thing um, with the, 
so so tomorrow morning 5 a.m est you can just turn it on and chant along with us also in the description box i'm going to post the link to the pdf about the chant and the words and like some stuff that you can practice along with so for a two and a half hour chant session i suggest that you bring blankets water if you have a mala that's great the beads that you can count along with um some weird temperature fluctuations happen when you're doing a two and a half hour chant it's you're gonna feel all sorts of things shifting and twitching and moving in and out of your auric field you're gonna see all sorts of visions you're gonna have all sorts of things you're really gonna feel how powerful this code is that we're imprinting into our subconscious mind and it's just super magical and i Hope that you take advantage of doing it along in a group because we create like this tell hard field of frequency where things can get done that can't get done when you're by yourself. Two or more of you gather, there I shall be. Um, <clears throat> so that's it. Also, if, yeah, I'm going to post the link to Etsy. So another thing that you can add to your beautiful tomorrow is receiving these solar rishi codes um codes that were channeled with archangel zadkiel and pulling in the threefold flame um the gold order the second order of the flame uh with the solar rishis because and it's just when you receive it in the frequency of the solstice you'll feel it you'll know and you'll just you'll we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. Happy pre-solstice. Get your houses clean and together. Get everything set up for you to coast through tomorrow so you can create that beautiful imprint of fulfillment for the rest of your year as we move to the center of our galactic center. Okay, bye.